what I mean? You can put a label on a life. Put a label on a lifestyle. You know? Put a label on how you wake up every morning and go to bed at night. One of my favorite uh, books that I ever read was something called The Max Strategy. And the Max Strategy is generally this. Of if you're trying to uh, accomplish something, build a business, a better body, whatever, the, the fact is most of the things that you attempt are just going to bomb. They're just going to be failures right off the bat. And I found this to be the case with most of the things I've attempted. Most of my inventions, terrible out of the woodwork. Uh, a lot of the times when I'm trying new workout programs and stuff, doesn't work at all. But here's the kicker, is that roughly about 20% or so of what you work on, okay, will work to some degree. Now, about half of that will work okay. And you'll basically build off something where it's like, well, I, that's okay and I can improve it. And then the final 10% is going to be wonderful, incredible, terrific, and it's going to bring you more success than you'll lose with all the failures from the previous 80%. So in the world of diet and exercise, we have this idea that we have to make things really good all the time. Hey, our diet always has to be really good. We always have to be uh, on top of our game with our workouts and so forth. And people are like, well, if you can just take care of things for 80% of the time and so on. Here's what I propose instead. Most of the time what you're trying to do is just hang on and not slide backwards. However, roughly about 20% of your workouts, 20% of your days, 20% of your work, uh, meals and everything are going to be just home runs right out of the park and those are the ones that are going to bring you success. The trick is remembering that they're out there and they're not going to happen all the time. They're not going to happen every week. And in the, the book, the analogy is that imagine if you go into a casino and you know that 80% of the times when you pull the handle on the slot machine you're going to lose. However, 10% of the time, you're going to break even, and then the final 10%, you're going to win, and you're going to win so much that it overpowers uh, and it brings you more gain than you lost in the previous 80%. If you know the odds are in that much of your favor, then hell, you just pull the handle all day because you know you're going to win in the end. Same attitude with your workouts and stuff. So you have a bad day. So you fall off the wagon a little bit. Stay on it and keep going for that last 10% because it'll easily overload the uh, section that's not bringing you much gains. Thumbs down below to let me fit live free.